Hey, I'm Nick Hammer, and welcome back to PCM 22 Classics Puncher. This is episode 24. We were outsider is the assignment. Finishing the top 20 is what the team want me to do. It's Omloop Het Newsblad. Big race, big time opportunity, plus two race day condition, which absolutely could have been worse. So, uh, it's been a little bit of a hidden gem to actually get a good race day condition. Team as a whole should have had actually quite a bit better as there's like four guys on fitness peaks right now with a couple of them having objectives for this race but certainly not a bad race day condition by any means no no complaints there and uh we're gonna get the whole team in position we're gonna manage the whole team throughout on this one uh, as this is that kind of race uh also as we're getting started on this one and and getting through these early kilometers kind of a quick side note side note this is going to be the one race that I cover in this episode, which will probably make it a bit short. The uh, main reason for that is I actually just got back from spending a couple days out of town. I uh, actually just went and saw Dave Matthews Band at the Gorge Amphitheater, which is uh, one of the premier venues uh, really in the world, but especially in the United States uh, for concerts. <laughs> Epic. Oh, what a concert that was. Uh, first time seeing Dave as well. Uh, been wanting to do that for a very very long time but anyway team now to the front we'll go ahead and get them set and uh, we'll get on with it so obviously I'm one leader and cobble ratings will matter today punchy ratings will matter Boudet is looking pretty dang good but he's so weak otherwise but he's a great sprinter so maybe we will try to protect him and see what we can do Lacroix, though, so much better. So much better. He's got the sprint. He's got the cobble. Cannot climb, though. Uh, but he is a little punchy. So Venturini also could be useful today. Man, I've got some good support today, don't I? Uh, Rue's not looking so bad. Kalmajan, not a sprinter. So Kalmajan, you're, you're first up. Uh, and Vakalin, let's see. He looks like cobble... Acceleration, he's a classics guy. And looks decent. Doesn't have the race day condition bonus. We're, we're looking at some like intense competition for what? Lacroix looks good. Uh, Boudet, I don't, I don't know, that plus five is really helpful, but I think you're looking still better at options like Venturini. Uh, and Boudet will leave him on his own. Let's let the other teams handle things for a little bit. We'll sit back. Break is still trying to form itself with 155k to go, but we do have seven riders off the front. It looks like they are ultimately coming together with one rider. Is he going to gain on them or is he going to fall back? Uh, but we're looking at a four-minute gap to the front six with one guy in no man's land who's not been gaining. Probably as soon as he hits these cobbled sectors, he's going to end up out of energy and fall back. So ultimately we're looking at a breakaway of six as we come up on the first two-star sector. And we are through that one with ease and the team nicely in place. You know, I really want to manage this one the right way today because unlike so many other races, position really matters later on. And if you sit back too far, you're, you're kind of just screwing the pooch, giving yourself a needless problem. Uh, Rue, let's go ahead and get water for the first time before we get into this next sector. Three stars. It's going to start picking up. And we're through that one easy enough. Pace isn't bad. It is down to those six, and it's at a two and a half minute advantage. And we're going to slow it down as we go through uh, the Wolvenberg climb, followed by a cobbled sector just after. Follow egg, two stars. And we're already starting to see some of these guys struggle positionally. Uh, Venturini. Venturini with a 75 has somehow gone well backwards quite quickly. Plenty of time to recover the position for now, though. Uh, the next sector also don't need to worry about it just yet, but we are going to have to start thinking about the late stages here fairly soon, probably after this next one. Uh, plenty of undulation. Uh, plenty of sectors still to come. Five more after this. 218 is the gap to the front six to the break. And the fatigue is starting to set in for a lot of guys. In fact, every single rider on the team feeling it a little bit as we start to pull back that gap. 
70k to go. It's probably time for Rue to go back and get water with that final time before we get into this next sector. Cocorel, short climb, steep, we're already over it. And Rue working on recovering that position to get the water to us. Two star sector and climbing. Okay, and we're drifting back. It's, it's time that we all pick it up to, let's say, 80, 84. 84 is good. 162 riders left chasing down the break, which that gap is definitely coming down. And the first split has occurred. Now you'll see a lot of yo-yoing in the kilometers to come, but every split generally is going to mean sprinters off back. Most of the sprinters, proper sprinters, we will hope to have been dropped before the end of this thing or not have enough energy to compete for the sprint at the end. I'm hoping for at least some form of sprint train as we get closer. Rue is going to need... Oh, I don't get to control gels. Oh, not properly anyway. That's okay. Uh, at the moment, 35 of the peloton as that yo-yoing is occurring. But there's quite a few groups split up and those groups one by one will make the kind of impact that either to cover the gap or just to you know chase and get back on whatever the case may be positionally you're going to see a lot of these groups remain permanent for now it's back up to 119 but there's still riders coming through this thing boudet how is boudet pushing on when i have control of him I've never lost control of him, but he attacked. Okay, we got a front five, and we're climbing, and we're coming up on the break. We're okay for now. Those guys are not attacking either, so front four. Inside a minute now, and 40 chasing. 36k though, it's a little too far out to try to sprint train and push and keep guys from catching back up. But again, that position matters. There's another short little climb. And it's going to ease off until you get into those last two. And we want to be pushing prior to that. Inside 30k now. Rue, Kalmajan, definitely feeling it. Boudet, doing okay. Venturini starting to feel it a bit. I'm still looking really strong right now, though. Really strong compared to my teammates. 22K, no break, 129 riders. And we're going to be attacking, so we want to get... Do we want to go out front yet? 20K to go, you know what? Win some, lose some. Let's try to see if we can win some. Okay, so lacrosse. I don't want to be at the very, very back, though. I want, like couple guys uh, behind for now. I want to be in the middle. So we'll get a couple guys behind me and then a few guys to lead us out. And then we'll slide back as time goes on. But really we want to get out front strong here first before the climb and then back off a little bit as we get out there. But you can see there's guys trying to attack right now. There's four or five, six riders that we're trying to attack, and Rue is done. On to Kalmajan. Kalmajan is okay in the cobbles and is punchy, so he's going to probably make good time through here. But he's also going to negate anybody's attempted attack. might still be able to get back on board here. We'll see if we can get him to the very back. But Kalmajan needs to get out of the way. And three guys did go clear. And the whole rest of the team is not quite in position. Things spread out a little bit. Venturini lost contact. But we've got 21 in the front now. 21 and Venturini is not in it. Let's look the other way. Yeah, there's... Small gap, but there's definitely a gap and a front group. 
made a little bit of progress on trying to get away. Let's get uh, Uday out in front of us here. Kalmajan. Kalmajan, can you get back on my wheel? I'll break toe. 17. 17 clear. And this is the final cobbled sector. There's the final little hill, and then it's the run into the finish with a lead out. Ah, Boudet. He's off, please. Okay, so Boudet just cost me big time. Uh, Venturini, we can't quite get up on us, can we? No. These guys on auto. Let them do their thing. I've got to go forward, but I've also got to get these two to drop back. Alright, contact. Jacqueline, we still have Lacroix for the lead out. Still have myself. There's nine riders just ahead of us. And we just, getting them in position gave us just enough to, uh, oh, good. Or not good. <laughs> it can't make up its mind on whether it wants to have riders in contact with us or not. Okay, now, the goal was top 20 today. We are clearly in a strong position to do that. But our lead-out rider, Lacroix, La is being used to pull back this front group, and we've nearly done so. He's almost in contact, and he is onto the back of the group. But two riders were attacking them just a moment ago, and we need him to try to get forward and just go 99. He's got no red bar left, but Lacroix can push on still faster and at least do a little bit of pulling back and manage, you know, Tish Benut attacking, Stefan Kuhn attacking, and I've got my gel kicking in 3K, but those two are getting away. It looks like they are going to claim the top three positions. I don't have the strength to really pull that back, but I'm going to be in a good position here to potentially sprint. Oh, we are coming back at him. We are coming back at him. 1.9K. Oh, come on. Come on. Look. Ay, ay, ay. Sprint. I got blocked. I got blocked there momentarily. And we're going to come back on the line. It's a top five, but can we hang on? We are coming back into position. We are going to get a podium. Vanderpool takes the win. Second place. I'll take it. I'll take it in this field. That's good. That's a good result. Especially for our Continental Pro team. And the expectation was top 20. That was good. I, I needed one, one more teammate. Venturini. I needed Venturini. Uh... It just never happened for him. He lost that contact. If he had not lost that contact, if we had that one more guy, we win that thing. We win that thing because Vanderpool was one of those front two. We pulled back one of two, but we couldn't quite close the gap on Vanderpool. And that bad luck right there at the end as Lacroix came across. Well, Lacroix blocked me from getting forward. And as those other guys came past, I had to wait for a gap. I had to get that bike length behind before I could then go with and that that hurt. That hurt our momentum towards the finish line because we nearly pulled it off anyway. Good result though. It's a podium. I'll I'll take it. I'm happy with the podium at Omloop Het Newsblad. Short episode, yes, I know. Sorry, I already told you why at the beginning, but uh, I've got to get this and my other episode, my F1 Manager episode for tomorrow, which is now both filmed, but I've got to get them edited, rendered, posted. It's going to take a while, and uh, tomorrow's another work day. But everything else will be normal schedule. I got done what I needed to get done outside of having the episodes, the Tuesday episodes, ready to go. Uh, so pretty close to doing everything that I needed and wanted to do, and this is the only one affected. I'm the Catalan Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.